Welcome to Electrical Stuff. In this video, we are going to learn about the Ething System Fault Currents and Selection Criteria. Earlier in my video, I explained about the TTIT and TN systems. So what are those systems? So now in this video, we will be learning about the uh, how the fault currents are there and how to choose this right Ething System. So let us start our video. So I'm showing you a picture here in this one. Uh, this is a HVLV uh, transformer. What will happen during normal case? Current will be flow from the uh, LV side to the load end, and it will be written back to the uh, from the neutral. It will be reach the transformer. How it will be a normal case during the fault case? What will happen during the fault case? Uh, it will be flow. Current will be flow through the ground this uh, this the current which the current is flow through the ground is called the fault current uh, this is a this video is a crucial please watch that till the end to understand the concept uh, yeah, so don't skip this video uh, uh, see in this in this slide i'm i'm showing you a circuit breaker and the cable and the uh, load so what will happen what are the terminologies? IEF is equal to at fault current. During the insulation fault, the current will be flow through the earth. This current is called IEF at fault current. Then there is a voltage induced at this point. It is called the contact voltage. Uh, there is an impedance of the uh, of the area. It is called fault impedance. So what is the relation? U is equal to IEF into ZC. So voltage is equal to current into impedance this is basic formula what will happen if ief increases and for fault voltage also increases when these uh, contact voltages or fault voltages or touch voltages when it will be dangerous when this is greater than 50 volts in dry environment it will be dangerous when it is greater than 25 volts in uh, wet environment it is dangerous so now see the uh, current now we will be see the current how it how it will be the dangerous and at what limit at uh, what threshold we have to be uh, um, sorry uh, at uh, critical current thresholds we will be see at what current it will be dangerous let us see 0 0.5 milliamperes when you touch uh, when 0 0.5 milliampere you feel the you feel the touch or you feel the current uh, like shock little shock 10 milliamperes what will happen you feel the muscular contact so your muscles will be contract so 30 milliampere you breathing arrest 75 milliampere irreversible cardiac uh, fibrillation 1 milliampere cardiac arrest so this is how the current will affect our human beings so according to the iec 604791 standard these are the iec standards now we will be see how the fault current in the TT system. In this uh, picture, you will be see the TT system. What is the TT system? Uh, to know more about this uh, TT system, you can watch my earlier video. So what will a TT system? Supply side is also earth and load side also earth. During the fault condition, what will happen? Current will be flow through the ground path and it will be written see how i explained the earlier so current will be flow like this way so now we have to be calculate the fault current uh, very simple fault current as we see uh, voltage is equal to current into impedance fault current is equal to voltage divided by impedance so fault current divided voltage uh, voltage by impedance voltage what is the supply voltage 230 volts because the line to neutral voltage are considered 230 volts by the impedance impedance is equal to if you consider uh, these two values 10 plus 10 that is equal to 11.5 amperes so now uh, voltage so now the fault voltage, what is the fault voltage? This fault voltage is equal to RU into ID, it's impedance into resistance, uh, sorry, impedance into current. So 10 into 11.5, that is equal to 115 volts. So this touch voltage is greater than the uh, limit voltage, that is equal to 50 voltage. So this voltage is greater than the 50, UD is equal to greater than the U limit, limited limit of touch voltage uh, that equal to 50 volt, it is greater. So when a person touch here, touch here, then he will be get a shock. 
So to avoid this shock, what we will do? We will be provide a protection. We will be provide a protection in the incomer side. This is called SCPD. What is SCPD? Short circuit protective devices. In this case, TT system we will be using RCD residual current devices. So tripping condition, it, tripping condition also uh, how it will be decided when it should be trip. This factor also based upon the fault current. So when you are selecting a breaker or breaker circuit breakers or ELCBs, you have to be considered the tripping uh, tripping cause. Tripping the tripping main cause are based upon the fault current. So here, if you see maximum touch voltage is less than or equal to safety value. Uh, here, I'm showing you a setting, how much the setting of this 25 ampere uh, SCPD. Then uh, uh, here, maximum touch voltage should be less than the safety voltage. So it should be trip. So RU into I delta N, where, what is I delta N? I delta N is a setting of RCD, is less than or equal to the UI. So delta n is equal to ui by ru that that is u value the 50 voltage it should not be more than that 50 by 10 that is equal to 5 amperes so your rcd it should be a trip setting should be 5 amperes so i am give i am showing you here a chart in this chart if you see rcd values and resistance and ul values are there so what is the relation if less than 30 milliampere then uh, it is ra less than 500 amperes rcd should be uh, less than 30 milliampere setting if uh, ra value is 500 then rcd value 100 milliampere and then RA value is 167, uh, your RCD is 300 milliampere. RA value is 50, your RCD is one ampere. Uh, RA value 17, and then three ampere. These are the setting, setting, uh, setting values. These are the setting values. So mostly we are using 30 milliampere setting for the uh, power sockets and 100 milliampere for the uh, lighting circuits. So, now we will be uh, see the fault current in the IT system. What will happen the fault current in the IT system? During the IT system, so we in the IT system, what is IT system? Incomer side impedance is very high and outgoing impedance are less. So what 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 is the what is the case here during the fault case? It will be flow like this and through the earth it will be reached. So, but what is the impedance here? Impedance is high. So let us uh, similar way, we will be calculate our fault current. What will be the fault current? IF is equal to U by ZT. Uh, U is equal to 2 dirty volts. ZT, this I consider three 3,500 uh, ohms because it's a high impedances. So 2 dirty by 3,500, that is 0 0.065 amperes. Then uh, this touch voltage, what is the touch voltage formula? IF fault current, fault current into the fault current into the uh, resistance value. So uh, UC is into 0 0.00, uh, 0 0.06, 0 0.6 volt. It is very less, very, very less. So less than the our, our required value, 50 volts. So this touch voltage is not dangerous. This is for the first fault condition. But if you have a, another line, line fault uh, will happen, second fault will happen, then current will be flow from uh, this way to the back, back uh, through the another line. So it is a, it will be a generate numerous current in the second fault. This is the IT system. Then we will be go for the fault current in the TN system. During the TN system, what will happen? TN system, we have uh, only supply side is earth and uh, we are using same earth as a uh, written conductor. So what will happen? during supply voltage. So consider this uh, phase conductor and earth conductors are the copper and 50 meter long cross sectional area and 35 mm square of the uh, line sizes. So what will happen ID? ID is equal to uh, v, uh, voltage by impedance. So what is the impedance value? Impedance is equal to both are same because of the cross section area same 50 and 50 meter long. Uh, so Phase conductor and earth conductors are same. So rho L, rho by um, rho into L by S. So uh, what is the rho of copper? 0 0.025 ohm uh, mm square. So 
uh, resistance of the earth and resistance of phase is equal to 0.025 rho by 50. This is the length by cross sectional area 35 mm. So you will be get 32.14 milli ohms. So what is the fault current? Fault current is equal to this 230 volts divided by uh, Re plus Rh. This is a phase conductor as well as a written conductor. So 2 into, I will simply, both are same. So I will be multiplied 2 into 0 0.3214. That equal to 3,578 amperes. So during the, during the uh, fault in TN system, the in the fault current is very 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 high so you need a protection in the incomer side and this fault current will cause a this fault current will cause a fire also so uh, the impedance of the fault loop is low it does not flow through the earth if there is an insulation fault it cha it changes to a short circuit which must be eliminated by the over current protection devices so you need a over current production device in TN systems. So I'm showing you here a tripping curve. What will have, what is a tripping curve? It is a relation between the uh, current as well as time. At what time it should be tripping? As I told in the TT system, you have to be choose a right trip, right your circuit breakers or ELCBs. So when it should be trip? So this is the IM, this is the setting of the breaker. This value, when this is a tripping zone, and the, uh, sorry, this is a tripping, uh, a tripping zone and this is a non-tripping zone your value this ief you have always choose uh, choose in the tripping zone then only your circuit breaker will be tripped otherwise you have to be decided based upon the tripping cause how how you should be breaker when it breaker is need to trip and when breaker should not be tripped so let us see a quick advantages and disadvantages of a uh, earthing system. So TT system, what are the advantages? TT system, low fault voltage. So it good for fire protection, RCD mandatory, no continuous surveillance required. Disadvantages, partial uh, circuit uh, shutdown, required regular checking RCD. So uh, an IT system, IT system, very low fault current. First of all, therefore, good for fire protection, good for service continuity. What is disadvantages? Requires IMD to inform the first fault and then search and clear it. So uh, requires qualified maintenance team, high fault current on uh, second fault. Use of neutral is not advised if transformer neutral point is not set by impedances. IT system are generally using in the medical fields. Uh, TNS system. TNS system, what is the advantages? Use of classic protection, uh, fuse or circuit breakers for the incoming side. Disadvantages, partial circuit shutdown. As soon as insulation fault occurs, high fault current, so risk of fire. Requires calculation of each cable length, cross section to ensure that each circuit breaker will work properly in case of end of line fault. So as, uh, now we will be see TNC. What is the TNC advantage? It is main advantages is the less cost because we are using the three uh, wires only, sorry, four wires only uh, instead of the five wires. So what is the design? Partial circuit shutdown, high fault current, so risk of fire, requires calculation of each cable length and uh, to ensure the good protection. No protection against high impedance insulation fault, current flows in conductive parts, shielding and exposed conductive parts. So uh, these are the quick advantages and disadvantages of earthing systems. Now we will be choose the selection criteria. So selection criteria based upon protection of a person, protection of equipment, continuity of the power supply, effects of disturbance, easy implementation, economic analysis. Based upon, these are the factors we will be considered during the editing system selection. So here uh, I make comparison between TT, TNS, TNC and IT systems. So let us see uh, 4X is equal to excellent and 3X is equal to good, 2X is equal to average, uh, 1X is equal to caution. So protection of people, TT system, it's uh, uh, excellent. And TNS system is good. TNC system is average. IT system is excellent. Protection against fire, TT system is excellent. TNC system is uh, good. TNC system is caution. IT system is average. Easy of implementation. So TT system is uh, good. TNS system is uh, caution. TNC system is caution, 
IT system also caution. Uh, continuity of service, uh, this is average. DNS system is also average. DNC is average. IT system is excellent. Upgradable in installation, DT system is excellent. DNS system is average. DNC system is average. IT system is average. Cost saving, DT system is average. DNS system is uh, uh, good. DNC system is excellent. IT system is caution. So based upon these criteria, according to which requirement you want to choose. So choose the best editing system according to your requirement. So most commonly the in the UAE and Gulf areas, we are using combination of TT and TNS system, combination of TT and TNS system we are using. If you want to call saving, you will be go for the TNCS uh, uh, combination. You can go for TNC and uh, TNCS. IT system is using in the medical area. Thanks for watching. If you have any queries, uh, please let me know. I, I think this video is little uh, bit uh, uh, typical to understand, little difficult to understand. Uh, if you have any queries, please let me know. I will be answer all those questions. Thanks for watching. Good day.